Hello, 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 my loves at the vlog. I wanted to turn on the camera and just quickly talk to you guys before I change and head out to meet my girlfriend. But I've just been feeling some type of way lately and I wanted to turn on the camera because I'm in like a really talkative mood. And whenever I'm in this talkative mood, I want to talk to you guys and let you guys know how I'm feeling because I feel like we are here to learn from each other and we watch videos and we go on YouTube and we watch movies and we watch Netflix and we read books and listen to podcasts and we are here just in a constant cycle of learning each other and being whole and as one and trying to chase the best version of ourselves and I always say this because I feel like it's true in this karmatic life and cycle and trying to learn the lessons all that we can learn and until that we've learned those lessons we will keep repeating the these cycles and being ran into the situations that do not serve us at our highest good until we have learned the lesson and it gets harder every single time and my closet in the back is like really messy I'm so sorry that you guys have to see that anyways today was just a vibe and last night I went out to dinner had some girlfriends and it was a really nice dinner to catch up with everyone and everything like that but I today I just woke up with full of anxiety and I didn't feel good today at all and to be honest I felt actually really down and um, how like I kept having these anxiety attacks coming through every like three hours and my heart was just beating constantly and non-stop and I would kind of be freaking out and I would go into the washroom every like two hours and just kind of calm myself down and thinking like what's going on and trying to really dig deeper as to why this feeling is coming forth at this time in my life and I really don't get these often like I get these when I'm going through some cycle or some situation that I'm learning from and I can't seem to understand what's pulling me into it and when I can't dissect the feeling or look back into my relationships or my past and to see what's coming forth right now or what's happening right now and reflect it makes me really frustrated and then I get these anxiety attacks so today was just not a really good and happy day for me as I would want it to be but there are a lot of things in my life that I have to reevaluate and one of the things that I wanted to say is that time after time I feel like people just constantly remind me that they are selfish and they are self-centered and they are inconsistent and no matter how many times that you try and do your best for somebody and open your heart and your abilities and to live your life having their best interests at heart and putting them first and putting your blood, sweat, and tears and putting yourself in situations for them that you know they would never do for you. Everything that you do for them, it just gets taken advantage of and you know that no matter what, they would just not appreciate it and still they would still cultivate and think of and criticize you and look into look at you as a bad guy and only choose what's beneficial for them and never really appreciating or thinking about you in any sense of your life and i have been really feeling this feeling really strong today and i know the past few weeks i have been feeling definitely different around myself and around some people and just reevaluating myself and who i'm surrounding myself with and my life honestly there are only some few out there that will truly have your best intention at heart who are there for you 100% including you know even family members and the 3% in your life or the 2% in your life that really really care for you and I just wanted to say that because I have been really feeling that you know I'm just getting shown these emotions left to right and I don't really like it and it's just making me and it's a really hard thing to I think realize as well because I already don't really open my heart or as cheesy or weird as that my sound or whatever I don't really open myself up to a lot of people then when I do it kind of circles back to me make me realize why I don't do it and now it's just I'm already not doing it as often so can you imagine not doing it as often and then have these things still come up in situations and people treating me the way that they're treating me and you put them first and no matter what you do for them it just never you know you just realize um and now i'm just seeing things in such a clearer picture and in a clearer light and i wanted to talk to you guys about that today because i'm sure some of you guys are also feeling the same or i don't know if any of you guys are going through the same situation or whatever or, or you see that you, a lot of people are just in it for themselves and that is not the intention i have for a lot of my relationships in my life including friendships and everything and yeah it's just making me have a long thought process when it comes to a lot of things right now and i just want to turn on the camera and just let you guys know how i'm feeling and i don't have a solution you know sometimes in life we don't have a solution we just have to remind ourselves that this is the way we're feeling we have to embrace it reflect on it and just move on and i've been trying to dissect this feeling for a long time the past few weeks and especially today just the past the whole day in the past few hours and i can't really figure out what's triggering these things um, but just letting letting it go and embracing it and just knowing that you know this feeling is not gonna last a long time just if you can't figure everything out and there's not a solution for everything there's not an answer for everything but everything happens for a reason but there's not an answer for everything so whether or not we have the answers right away 
um, or not. We just have to feel it and that's how we feel and that's it. And just remind yourself that you are doing amazing, sweetie. We all are. I love you guys so much. If you guys are ever feeling sad or whatever, just watch a video. Um, there's so many things that we can do to put our minds into different. I feel like myself I'm getting negative or I'm putting myself into like a realm of just absolute negativity I will literally think about trees or the sky because right when I change my thought process different things roll through my mind thinks so quickly and I think a big part of it is being like a Gemini when my mind's just all the time and I don't know if it's a good thing you know I'm pretty sure it's like not always a good thing and definitely makes me frustrated sometimes because I can't really think one thought for a long time but yeah um, that's what's going on for me today so I just want to say hello and yeah I'm gonna go change now and meet my girlfriend I'm pretty sure my cab is like on the way but i love you guys so much i still need to change i'm wearing a white t-shirt and white t-shirts are my favorite i love you guys so much Mwah. happy tuesday guys i am walking my little baby he is so cute and i thought i would take you guys along with me a little bit and show you guys what i'm wearing today so i am wearing um long sleeve crop top with these jeans i love these jeans so much i will put the link down below if you guys want to take a look i have a discount code for you guys as well and then just like a black puffer jacket still in love with these puffer jackets walk my dog and talk to you guys because i don't think i've ever filmed myself like walking him um yeah i this is the area that i'm in right now and there's a lot of construction because they're building like a lot of buildings and stuff like that um and i wanted to talk to you guys and say hi I have fallen into just loving outside again and I think that sometimes I get into this phase of like loving and being in the present but also being pressured to strive for more and I think that this is something that I need to work on myself for sure in 2019 is just to kind of slow down because I feel like I'm really rushed all the time and rushed but because I want to get things done like very very fast like chop 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 but then realizing that that's not always the best case. I have to stop and smell the roses. That is something that I want to do this year. Um, and I've set myself a, like a lot of goals this year, I think. that. But 2019 has been going great so far. And I hope it's been going great for you guys as well. I am loving every single moment and every single time. And so many things have happened this year that I did not expect to happen, which is really good. And so many new projects in the works. And just things for us to be a part of and making me realize a lot of different things and scenarios that have come forth where I have kind of just blown my brains out because I think that I would thought that would never happen or just things that my mind have never you cannot think the things that you don't know just like how you cannot act the way that you don't know so for example is that you know if your boss is mean to you and you know there is a reason that they don't know how to manage people or their their leadership styles are different from the way that you would do it and you cannot blame them because sometimes you have to think back and pull pull yourself back into the situation and just reflect on maybe that's all that they know how to do and we cannot blame people's actions because maybe that's all that they know you cannot act the way that you don't know and that's why it's so important for us to always be self-growing and learning and reflecting on our habits and actions on the way that we treat others and the way that we treat ourselves I'm loving the sunlight right now so there are so many th things these days like I haven't been like really crazy dreams where like my dreams would have like insane amount of um, secret messages or like dialogues and it's crazy because I would literally like Google like why did I dream that I was pregnant? Why did I dream that I had a why did I dream that I had a seizure? And you know these things in my mind and my dreams like last night I had a dream where I had I was paralyzed um and I could not believe it. And you know your dreams always always have a underlying message for you on how you're feeling on how your day to day life is and dreams have so much meaning to it and I think people don't realize the importance of dreams and the, w the way that we feel and how how can we have them um, so I would suggest one tip of the day is to google your dreams on why you have dreamt it or what's going on um, and I gotta go pick up this poop so I'll talk to you guys later say hi where are we light up the incense nhưng mà có ba cái bự à thường thường có cái mấy cái nhỏ nhưng mà it's okay right No.
back to the car. We bought buns. Buns. <laughs> I love like these Chinese buns because they're so good all the time. And I always get lost. When Park said out over there. I hate big parking lots because I always lose my car in, in these. Honey, can you bring a vitamin water? Honey. Um, Gatorade's fine. Is the car downstairs or? Oh, it's across the street. Thank you. Do you want to come to the gym? No. Okay, where's his leash? Over here. Wait, let me put my shoes in. Hey, relax. So right now we're gonna go eat some dinner. Um, and yeah. By the way, I'm wearing my Goyard case. Link down below if you guys want to match. Buy it, link down below. Link down below, babies. Um, relax. Come here, come here. Funny. One, four, I know it's icky. Okay. Really like these days. It's been like 30 degrees. Can you guys believe it? It gets that cold here. It's like literally 30 fucking degrees. And it's kind of insane to be honest. But yeah, I mean I live in this cold weather. I live basically in an icicle and I I'm I'm here for it. And this is usually Huh? No, it's okay. It's freezing, and this is literally like all I'm wearing. <laughs> His haircut on Saturday is at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Yeah, 10 a.m. Guys, it's so cold. Oh my gosh. This. It like gets really blurry and then it unblurs and then now when it's you, like before you record less it, blurry. You have to make sure it's not blurry. Okay, there. Okay. It's just really dark. No, it's not fall, right? Please don't fall. Please don't fall. We have this conversation. It's not fall. Look, it's fall. All good. I'll catch you. I'll catch y'all if y'all fall. Oh shit. Love pastel. Thank you for dinner. Mm -hmm. It is a new move. So those of you guys who are setting intentions, hopefully that little segment was helpful to you guys to make some minor tweak minor tweaks because those these little minor tweaks of how you think can make a whirlwind of a difference. And I want you guys to so where we started from was something of Capricorn. So January was really a time to look inward, to make adjustments inward and outward, 
she was kind of February. February, like, I was just talking about Aquarius, new moon Aquarius. Aquarius focuses on expansion, unity, inspiration, clarity, and it's very fast paced. Um, it is obviously an air sign, but it's more of, um, because of more of an air sign, it's associated with like, a new wow. ways of thinking or unusual ways of thinking. When we're stuck, I don't say stuck, it's just not the right word to you, but when we're in a consistent oh. thought pattern, so I guess you could use stuck, but it's when we are in a consistent thought pattern, it's mm. really hard to think differently and our subconscious mind is now on that path. So mm. if we've always felt, we've always thought of how things aren't maybe working out the way we want or whatever it may be, that's just like the easiest general is all bases or whatever area you want in, it's your mind is already, it already almost expects things to not go as you want because you it, they ha so you they had they didn't so then you think about how they didn't and they continued not to and whatever it could have been any capacity maybe it was a job friend whatever it could have been like it, like I'm saying this could cover any base it's just the easiest way for me to address it so that all of you guys can understand it and relate it to whatever you know it may be in your life. Uh, I said before like I feel like a lot of spiritual people use very dramatic mm -hmm. examples which I just think is unnecessary in some cases mm -hmm. but thinking a certain mm -hmm. way then your subconscious mind starts to expect that to happen so what you have to do to shift that which is really good to do around this time in Aquarius is very helpful in doing this it's kind of like training a dog let's say your dog when you say sit it sits down and you almost now need to retrain that whole process mm -hmm. in order to say mm -hmm. sit and your dog will I don't know do a backflip okay Back, I guess that's a dramatic example because it's not even like likely but okay fine Instead, they're going to stand up on their two different expectations. You need to change the expectation, which is really hard because when you say blank, you think that the dog will respond that way. But you almost have to tra change your expectation to happen. Obviously, this is not a, a real life example. Your dog is not going to give you its paw when you say sit unless you train that association. But I'm just trying to give an example that you need to expect something different. It's kind of like, I don't know, let's say the bus comes every day why <laughs> i don't know where this example is coming from okay fine let's say every time you call an uber the uber it takes forever right and you just every you know that may not be the case but because that's happened to you so many times you just think like oh well it's happened to kind of come late so you need to rewire your thought and like in re rewire your expectation that no when i call an uber it comes quickly again i'm giving a very big example so i could demonstrate a larger point so you, you start rewiring you start saying no every time i call an uber it comes quickly i'm going to call it, it's going to come quickly and then you do it and then that time it comes quickly and then you do it again and again and you do it so wire that expectation so deeply that it, it re rewires the way you subconsciously think it rewires your expectation and then a different thing manifests so that's what, what our narrative was you know what i mean and that it, it in fact can be better and that it's all within our deep root expectations so i just think that's important for us to look at airs in life and look at what we're expecting and to shift that and it's very hard because Nord it, 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 when you're shifting awesome. your expectation mm -hmm. without any concrete data or evidence that that's the case, it's hard, you know, like, like you said, like if you, the Uber's been late every single time, to think that it's not going to be late the time, you almost feel like stupid. You almost feel like delusional for when you're doing that. But the only way you can shift your reality is by expecting something else, you know, and that's, that's the trickiest part. That's why I feel like it's so hard for people to understand that there, I have proof that X is going to oh, happen, like X, Y, and Z, but I have no proof that Y is going to happen. So why would I place my... I don't know why I'm really always read metaphors, but no. the way it makes sense why? to me, so maybe it resonates with like you. They're trying to attract them back in. So you need to shift the expectation. Which, going back to the new moon, this is such a good time. Aquarius is probably the best sign to do this type of work in. It is. It gives such clarity. It's very fast-paced. So you will be able to see the changes a lot quicker than in a different sign. So let's say you change your expectation about something. You'll be able to see them a lot quicker. Of course, it depends on your energy. Um, but when men, you know when you feel full energy, it's like you can. It's like your battery's at a hundred. You can like it almost feels like you can magnetize what you want. When you're exhausted, you have no energy to expand because everything in our life, you know, is energy. Is you drunk? Is you had enough? Are you here looking for love?